Okay, we're going to hack a uh, Olympus VG170. Um, it's got a one button record similar to the VG190. It's 14 megapixels, so we're going to get started on this. First, start taking the screws out. Two on the side. Two on the bottom. Two on the other side. We can take the back off now. Pull up in the bottom, then pull the top out. Now you have a ribbon right here on the bottom corner. We're going to take it out. We take that off. So that so that's out of the way. Okay, now we want to pry up that LCD like that. I'm just going to flop it over. Now there's one, two, three, four screws on the LCD holder. I'm going to take those four screws out. Um, it's not a bad hack. There is some small terminals to work with. Now we're going to take that off. Let's put that off the side. Okay, what? We have three terminals right here. Now, I don't want to touch the black and red there. Leave them alone. Uh, if you want, you can put a little piece of tape over them. But I need these. This is power common, power, and shutter. So that's the three we're going to hack into. Okay, I using small wire, 30, 32 gauge, and what I'm doing, I tend it. Now I don't want this to be too long because I don't want it to short out any other pin. So I'm going to place that on the very first pin from the left. And I'm going to uh, I'll get my I'll put down the very first pin, and we're going to solder that in. <clears throat> there it didn't take the first time. 
So that would be my power comments, first pin. Second pin is my power. So I'm gonna solder it in, get it in place. Now I'm going to solder the second wire in the second pin from the left. Now you don't want too much heat to these. Because you don't want to melt the solder point. There we go, good sort of joint there. So, that's my sh power. Third pin will be my shutter. Now what I'm going to do to this hack is I'm going to use battery ground for my shutter column. It's a four wire hack. So you have a separate common for shutter and power. So we're going to shut power third wire over. Okay, a good solder. I'm, I'm keeping them short. It's a little harder to solder when those things are so short. I'm trying not to get heat and I don't want to melt the con the insulation. And I'm going to solder maybe around 350 degrees. So there we go. That's uh, gray with power common, orange with power on, and yellow shutter. So there's uh, those three. Okay, um, I took, I'm going to do my uh, battery negative, and I'm going to make one, I'm, I'm taking two wires, I put them together and I soldered it and tin the end. <clears throat> one will be battery external, and the other side will be common for both my shutter and my video record button. Um, so we're going to get this soldered in. And it's marked, you'll see battery negative, B minus is battery negative. I can hold it steady. I'll eventually be able to solder it. Okay, now that's my battery negative, and you'll see battery positive, battery negative. And I'm going to do my uh, battery positive. Uh, 
I can get it to where I want it. And that's my uh, battery positive. So now, that's the hack so far. But since we're going to be doing other things to this camera, we're going to add two more wires. And one's going to be for the video record button so we can have high def during the day. And this actually is the very first pin right here. Now we got to make sure we don't get nothing on the other pins. We want that very first pin so we can set it on the top side of that pin and weld to the side. That way we have less chance of uh, causing an issue with... Uh, not, you know, you don't get soldered into the pins. Uh, make sure your wires, you know, you tin your wires, but clip the ends in so that you don't have a lot of uh, conductors sticking out the short out. Uh, that's pretty important. So now we're going to do the video. And like I said, it's the very top, very top pin uh, just can't quite <laughs> whoops Sorry, I'm just trying to get my light situated that I can get my hand under and be able to see this pin so that you can see too. It's, it's difficult. So I'm going to place it right on top of that, right on the upper top. And I'm just going to touch it. Looks good. Looks good. So that's my video button. Okay, because I'm gonna I want sound. Now you can stop here, but I like sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap into the mic and that's these uh <clears throat> soldered right here is the mic connections. You have mic positive, mic negative. It's not the camera's nice, they mark everything, they tell you what everything is. I'm just gonna cut them. I'm just going to push it down in. I don't. I could actually <clears throat> take them out. Actually, use the mic if I want in my uh, amp. So now I'm going to solder wires onto those two connectors. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to use uh, green for my mic negative. Real simple, just touch. Use purple for mic positive. And that pretty much is the hack. <clears throat> now my next little thing that I'll do is I'm going to take these wires out the tripod holder, mix it nice, and I'll route the wires around the components little bit of electrical tape but I'm going to drill this now when I drill this I gotta be really careful drilling this thing there's a ribbon right here if I tear that ribbon I just killed the camera well at least the lens assembly if you can find another one um, but I need to drill this hole I'm going to use a uni bit that way this doesn't take a chance of running too bad I'm going to drill that hole so I can run my wires so yeah so there's a ribbon here, I don't want to hit it. I'm going to drill through here with the uni bit. That should be good to get my wires through. Okay, that's the hack. Um, we'll get it closed up here. I want to. I drilled the tripod hole. You got to be very careful not to hit that ribbon.
And now I'm just gonna I'm gonna run some tape, a couple spots, so I can keep my wires where I don't where I want them. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna leave the tape in. I can't cover that little hole there. It's my cover goes there. And that'll hold those too. Okay, now I'm ready to put my cover back on. <clears throat> and I might have to move a little bit more wires around to get where I need to get. Okay, let's start putting my screws in. Okay, once I have all the screws on, I'll just flip my screen over. Yeah, I'm gonna want to wipe it off. Now I gotta put my cover back on and you can see there's a ribbon. Remember the ribbon we took off? So we're gonna put that back. It's a little bit of a pain so it's gonna be hard for me to show. Wish it was a little bit longer. I'm gonna that ribbon in there for a keep pad. It's 
snap it together. And my cover for my USB came off. Okay, now I'm going to put my screws back in. This camera has a pretty good flash, so you don't need a slave unless you really want to get out there. <clears throat> Real nice high def video, daylight. And that's the last screw. Two on the side, two on the bottom. Two on each side, <clears throat> two on the bottom. <clears throat> that's a hack to a VG170. It's not a bad hack for all of them. I mean, it's a lot of wires. You're going to need small wires. But uh, it's actually a pretty simple hack. As long as you don't get your, uh, your tenure wires, cut them down a little bit so they're not too long. So you're not cutting them ground out against something else, sort things out. Other than that, pretty nice. Okay, we need to test our hack, see, make sure it works. So, if you remember, gray was power common, orange is power on. So, we turn on. Now, we're going to take yellow, which is our shutter, and we're going to touch it to black or or battery ground, one of them. We flash a picture. Now, <clears throat> we take our blue wire, which we saw to the top pin for our video. Now, if we touch that to battery ground, and we run video. And we can't see it, but I'm running video. And all I did was touch the blue wire, blue wire with the ground wire, battery ground. So I ran two wires for that one for the battery external, one for the common for the camera. And that's how you check the hack. I uh, hope this helps.